Kumail Wood movies that we know cannot compare with Lil Wayne's movie, A Country Called Ghana. No, it's not. <laughs> if we do not push what we have, nobody's going to push it. They, people are going to treat you how you, you treat yourself. A Country Called Ghana. Everyone is talking about this movie these days, like, these days, like, uh, produced by Lil Wayne. No, the, act, the color grading is actually solid. Like, yo. That's... Wait. So, okay, yeah, so... This is Africa, a country called Ghana. Penny? Yeah, Penny. Awesome, Penny, yeah! Yes! We finally made it now! I know why people are saying that the movie looks a little bit dark, because there is a vignette a vignette the color the colorist put a vignette at the borders of the screen so not on the main video but at the, at the borders at the corners there's a vignette there i do hope that that just applies to the trailer and not the main video i do hope that that applies to just the trailer and not the movie because it's going to look a little bit dark and yeah the color grading the vfx the color grading is solid the vfx is is cool it's not it's not that bad for this movie because this movie is not a blockbuster and it's not an action movie it's 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 it's, it's meant to make you laugh it's meant to make you happy executive producer in cancer <laughs> so yeah people should chill the movie is not bad this movie is interesting this movie is good this movie is going to make you laugh when you go to the t the, the cinema yep yeah, no one has paid me but i'm a filmmaker and i'm from ghana and i like to support ghana like yeah this is ghana this is our country if we do not push what we have Nobody's going to push it. They, people are going to treat you how you, you treat yourself. People are going to judge you how you judge yourself. If you are not so confident about what you're doing, people are not going to be confident about what you do. Think about it. When the Chinese started doing all these, these movies with the Kung Fu and the flying and yada, 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 I'm pretty sure people started laughing at them and criticizing them like, who are these Asian dudes like doing all these funny stunts and all that, acting funny and all that. But hey, now Chinese movies have become a thing. Indian movies have become a thing. Bollywood has become a thing. So if we cannot make Gollywood a thing, uh, who's going to make it a thing for us? Because think about it. How, remember those days when we used to watch all these Bollywood movies on, on TV, on TV3, Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoons? <laughs> they really look janky. They really look janky and, and funny. Like they, they, Some of them still look janky and funny. But hey, now you go to the cinema and you watch a, an Indian movie. If no one tells you, you think it's an American movie because because of the quality because of the vfx they put it in and they have some of the best film schools there like film schools in bangladesh and they have some of the amazing some amazing film schools there so if we do not push our stuff if we do not push gallywood no one's going to push it we have to make gallywood a thing right same way nollywood is made in making their stuff same way nollywood is making their stuff a thing same way nigeria is, is making their their music a thing like you cannot go to any party and Afrobeat is not going to be played there. Like, yo, you, you cannot go to any party and Afrobeat is not going to be played there. It's been made a thing. So we have to make our Gallywood a thing. Think about it. You go to China, they're doing all their Kung Fu stuff, and Kung Fu stance, and, and no, one is, no, no one is judging them now. But when they start it, you're going to look at them and see them funny, like, oh, with a lot of racist mentalities and racist impressions you're gonna just look at them and go like oh look at this asian looking dudes imitating them and uh, talking how they, they used to talk and all that but hey look at where they are now look at the, the likes of jet lee jackie chan all these amazing people that have come out of that place where they once ridiculed and laughed at yes so we have to push what we have we have to push a country called ghana we have to push our movies we have to support our movies how many movies are on Netflix that are from Ghana? Very few, but a lot from Nigeria. And it, it's become a thing. You go there and you, you want to watch some of, some, some, some of the latest Nigerian movies, Black Book and all of that. Gangs, Gangs of Lagos. Yeah, you, wanna, you go there and you want to watch Gangs of Lagos and yada, yada. And those movies were actually very well produced. So we have to support our people. We have to tell them that, hey, this is good. This is good. This is nice. I think you could add this. You could add this. Let me come on board. Let me help you with your color grading. Let me help you with your visual effects. Let me help with this. Because we have, we actually have very good filmmakers on the continent, in, in the country. Look at them, some of the music videos that are coming out. If you look at the directors and the kind of music videos they are doing, they're actually pushing. The color grading is, is quite solid. So why don't we come together and help, help push our 
our industry. Why does everyone want to be a champion on his own, a local champion? No, many local champions coming together can now become global champions together. Many local champions coming together can now become global champions together. So Lil Wayne's movie is not bad. The color grading is not bad. It looks good. Compare it to the Kumawood movies of, of past and it's way ahead of them. Like, yo, no. Kumawood movies that we know cannot compare with Lil Wayne's movie. A country from, a country called Ghana. No, it's not. <laughs> no. You cannot compare. It's totally different. And I, I support him. I think that he should go ahead. He should make more movies. Let's push him. Let's encourage the guy. Because it hurts to, to invest so much money into a movie. And just the comments of one person could, could just ruin your whole, your whole agenda. Could, could just ruin your whole career. We should actually support ourselves and push ourselves in terms of our music and our, in our, in our productions. Everything that we do. Let's push ourselves. All right. My name is Freddie Mark and you're welcome to True Verse, where we bring you only the truth. This is the universe, the space for truth. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay on. We're going to bring you much more content, much more interesting stuff. Peace out.